January 11th is an initiator for all of us to come together and develop the right perspective, the right spectacles, the right attitude by which we can look at entrepreneurs. Let us celebrate January 11th as International Entrepreneurship Day. Let's all come together, whether you're already an entrepreneur, or you're a future entrepreneur, or you've executed a choice only to be in a career path, a professional, a student, it. But let's all come together and celebrate January 11th as International Entrepreneurship Day. First and foremost, I want to get this perspective right. Social media, through the virality of communication, has not only achieved the ability to spread the message, but unfortunately has also brought in a lot of toxicity, negativity, judgment. And as a result, I want to use this power of medium to get this one perspective right. We all keep talking about what an entrepreneur has gained. But I have a bigger question to ask. How much of larger good has an entrepreneur served? And how little has it served the individual good for the entrepreneur in the process? If somebody is living a life where their individual good is only a byproduct of the larger good that they have served, which is what I think every entrepreneur is, shouldn't we all be together celebrating them? Over a billion people must be working with technology right now. But how did all of them get a career path in their life? Because a few entrepreneurs, through the spirit of their entrepreneurship, had established and created organizations because of which millions of people could find their career path, isn't it? In fact, in my head, an entrepreneur is the epitome of sacrifice. And they don't get recognized for this. We don't celebrate entrepreneurs as much as we need to celebrate entrepreneurs. Because beyond a stage, doesn't matter how many cars they have, they can only go in one car and they can sit only in one seat. Doesn't matter how big their house is, they can only sleep in one cot and one side of the cot. And they have the same six inches to feed. And yet, the spirit of an entrepreneur ensures the government is able to have the revenue that is required to uplift a country. Social development happens. Customers find the products, the solutions, the services, the experiences that they need. Supplier development happens. Hundreds of thousands of families gets lifted in the process. And for all that, the risk is by the entrepreneur, the sleepless night is by the entrepreneur, the sacrifice is by the family of the entrepreneur. They succeed, everybody benefits in the process, they fail, only they suffer in the process. So, January 11th is an initiator for all of us to come together 
and develop the right perspective, the right spectacles, the right attitude by which we can look at entrepreneurs. And whether we tell them directly or not, but to whisper from our heart a thank you, a salute to all the entrepreneurs. Or whatever the world is today, we owe it to the entrepreneurs of the world. So if you are an entrepreneur, like how you celebrate all the other days by greeting and wishing each other, I want the entrepreneurs to go crazy in the way you express and communicate and congratulate the people of your own tribe, the fellow entrepreneurs. If you truly in your heart realize your life and the life of your family has benefited because of the spirit of some entrepreneur who has given you the avenue for career growth, I want you to celebrate them. Either in the silent chambers of your heart or be explicit in your expression. And maybe January 11 is a beautiful opportunity for a lot of youngsters to celebrate International Entrepreneurship Day by desiring that one day you too will be an entrepreneur. Together, let's create a world of abundance. This is infinitism, celebrating all the entrepreneurs of the world. Thank you.